Hey everyone, welcome to uh, part two of this uh, RP six uh, RP six hundred M Clips GR Research Upgrade Build. Um, so we're gonna go into de some of the details of what's in the kit. Um, if you look at the uh, if you look at the um, diagram that comes in the kit, I blocked out the values because uh, you know they're proprietary, and uh, you know if you want to know the values, you probably should just buy the kit. But um, it outlines what's going on here, you know, uh, for both the tweeter and the woofer. That squiggly, angly thing is a, uh, that is a, um, a resistor. Uh, that thing that looks like a gap is a capacitor. And uh, that is a, uh, another resistor. And then that's your tweeter network. And then the woofer um, has a, what's called an inductor. That's these coil thingies. Right, there's a big one and a small one. Uh, there's a, another cap there. It's not a sonic cap. It's another cap, or it's the black cap that's in the kit. And again, it'll match the value. It's very easy. And then there's another. Uh, there's another inductor there. That's the smaller inductor. And again, you'll have the value will be uh, printed right on it. It's very easy to match the numbers. Um, so that's the easy part. The hard part is laying it out. Now, my ability to record this and put this first one together is uh, pretty slim, but I did assemble one. Uh, so I'm going to tilt this down so you can... I'm going to try to tilt this down. There you go. So I'm going to tilt this down so you can see it. I'm going to try to do this upside down so you can follow this on a diet. Oh, well, I didn't glue it down yet, so that makes this a little difficult. Um, so I'm going to put this under here like this and see if I can... There we go. So I laid out both of them here. So the top part here, um, this is the positive terminal here. And now both both the woofer and the uh, the tweeter connect to it because uh, they both they both go to the same thing. Um, but if you follow the diagram, let's see if I, I don't know if I can fit this in. But if you follow the diagram here, uh, you'll see uh, if we follow the tweeter network first, which is which is this here, uh, that that is that resistor. I'll put a picture. I'm gonna just put a picture up. It's easier. This will be that first resistor in the tweeter, and I'll put an, an arrow to it, uh, and then uh, it follows here. I already soldered it uh, to the sonic cap, and then you see where it goes to that second resistor, and then on the bottom of that, you'll uh, you'll see that it goes both. Uh, to the positive of the tweeter, but also the negative of the terminal. For the tweeter, it's reversed. Not sure why, but I figure Danny knows what he's doing, and that's fine. So if we follow the woofer, uh, which is what uh, this big inductor here uh, goes to, so it goes from the same place, the positive terminal. And you'll see on the diagram for the big inductor. And then it goes there to the black sonic cap, and again, you can match the value on it. And then it goes down to the uh, to the small inductor, and then it goes out, and then that is both for the negative terminal, negative to the terminal, and negative to the woofer. Um, so I'm going to angle this up a little bit more so you can get a still shot of it, so you at least have a reference for it. There, I can move my hand. I'll probably take a still picture of it too to help you. Um, but, and, and again, it's not pretty, um, I'm, I'm not very good at this, but, uh, as you can see, I already soldered all the term, all the connections together. You want to get a good layer of solder on it. This thing pointing up, uh, goes nowhere. Um, that's just like to get this to fit, I needed to crunch this up so I can get this to line upright on this 5.7 board that I know that will uh, fit inside uh, on the bottom of the speaker. Um... Oh, also, you notice it's not, it's, 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 I'm going to, uh, hot, I'm going to hot glue this to, the, if you look at Danny's video, he drills holes and he, and he, uh, ties it down with zip ties. I'm, I'm going to hot glue it. Uh, cause again, I'm not as super confident that I did this right. If, uh, if I did do this right, I'll let you know. And if in part three or part four, however long this goes of the videos, um, oh, th this is the point I wanted to make. When you lay this out, if you notice, I have this inductor laid flat, but I have this inductor uh, going in an op in, in uh, up upright, 
the reason why is uh, Danny explains it in his video. If you have them both flat, it causes electrical interference or some silliness like that. I don't know what. All I know is that's how he put it. And, uh, you know, that guy uh, puts food on the table doing this. Uh, so uh, why the heck would I question it? He has it like that. He says to put it not on the same plane. So uh, I would recommend doing exactly what he says. So me not being an expert, when I put this all together, I very diligently mapped everything out. So I made sure I knew where everything was and I labeled everything with this painter's tape. Um, so I, when I do all the rest of the assembling, I know where everything goes. Uh, I have this lined up right now, which is too close, but I'll, I'll figure it out later. So this is the, I just wanted for part two to show that I, quasi assembled one of these is not completely put together yet i still gotta nail all this i still gotta you know get this all fixed to the board and everything and then uh obviously at some point get them in the speakers and make sure they're right um what goes out of the way there that's for the other people i'll try to um the, ne the next video is going to be more me assembling the the second one and i'm going to kind of demonstrate how to solder and believe me i'm not the best solderer on the planet by any means uh but i can roughly to, to 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 say solder but basically you, you want to use the solder to cover up where you know you twist the connections to get them con connected together and then you want to put the solder on so it, it makes it a nice tight connection of course it also shields it from oxidation and i guess shorts and whatever it's just a good idea to throw a layer of metal on it um it's just a good thing to do um would it work if you just left it twisted together? Uh, probably. I don't think it would work for a long time. It would probably cause a problem, but soldering is just a good thing. And then when I put the, the actual wires on to these places to go to where they go, like for example, this one here, it's the positive of the tweeter and also the negative terminal. Again, that's reversed. Can't say that enough. Uh, and you'll and you'll see that when you when you look at the diagram. Uh, it kind of lays it out. But that is one. Uh, 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 the one unusual thing here is, um, you know, like, like from here, it goes to the positive of the tweeter, but goes to the negative terminal, it reverses. Uh, and Danny mentions it in a video too, so you might listen to that and get confused, but it's really not that complicated. So this is part two. Uh, the next video, again, I'm going to show more of the detail of soldering and some more of the detail work. Uh, thanks.